So I'm a skater, as everyone knows, and it's the one thing that I love to do the most. It's my hobby, it's my release, it's my escape from everyday life. And it's also my favorite form of transportation. I really just want to get from one point to the next without any hassle, just as quickly as possible and really easy. And I think that's what anybody wants when they're trying to get from point A to point B. I would like to propose that our college should allow skateboards on campus just as a form of transportation. I believe skateboards should be allowed on campus for three main reasons. One, they are efficient and a safe form of transportation, which I'll expand on later. Secondly, if a student has to park far or even off campus, uh, it would make it easier on them, on the student, instead of having to walk all that way to class, they could just ride their board. And lastly, there's an environmental benefit to riding a skateboard on campus. So as I said, they are efficient and a safe form of transportation. I interviewed, a, I interviewed student Michael Williams who says, it's just easier for me to get from my classes, and to get to my classes, especially when getting from the parking lot and going through the campus courtyard. So skate, skateboards are obviously more efficient sim simply because they're faster than walking, but since they are faster than walking, they are also slower than bikes, which makes them safer. Uh, skateboards are safer simply because when somebody hears a skateboard riding down a the sidewalk, they usually tend to move out of the way. Versus when a bike, all you hear is a little ticking noise and like within 10 feet they're already behind you and that's a good cause for an accident. Also bikes, they ride higher and I don't know if you've ever seen anybody trying to weave through traffic of people on a bike. It's really dorky and they're all slow and they're waving their arms around and yelling at people and it's really awkward. So on a skateboard though, you have four wheels, you're planted, you're solid, you're stable. People can hear you, they'll move out of the way and it's just all around safer than a bike. Uh, secondly, skateboards are useful if a student has to park far or off campus because simply nobody likes to walk in the hot or the cold for an extended period of time if they don't have to, especially for my car. Some people I know park out on the street and have to walk all the way to their campus or all the way through the campus to the other side across the street down to the 2000 building where you guys know that it is. And that's like a good quarter mile walk for some. And also students would have to sacrifice sleep, I believe, to wake up early just to find a good parking spot. Uh, next to their class. As student Sarah Brown says, I used to leave my house at 7 in the morning just to get a close parking spot for a class at 9. And, I mean, she's a girl, so, you know, she wakes up at 6, gets ready, does her hair, does everything, leaves the house by 7, and she lives in Anaheim. So 7, 7.30, she's here, and then she has to go to the library to fall asleep so she can catch up on some sleep before class at 9. So I believe that if she was able to have a skateboard, if she wanted to ride a longboard or something like that, she could come around maybe like 8, 15, 8, 30 before class, find an okay far away parking spot, ride the class, and take her time. So as a result, the risk of falling asleep in class could be reduced, and then more students would be more awake during class and ready to learn, and not so droggy and, you know, sleepy. Um, lastly, another benefit to allowing skateboard, uh, skateboards on campus as a way of transportation is that it is better for the environment. As I said, many of them will live in Anaheim, but not all of them do. Some of them actually live really close to campus. So students that who live next to campus don't want to waste gas driving, you know, one mile or a mile and a half, something like that. So some of them would like to ride their bike. But the thing is with a bike, you can't take it into the class. You can't hide it underneath underneath your desk, and it be, and ends up becoming a fire hazard or something like that, and it's an obstruction, and the teachers get really upset. So, but with a skateboard, it's the complete opposite. The skateboard is small enough, you can carry it, you can bring it into class, you can put it underneath your desk, it's out of the way, and it's simple to carry. So then where's the environmental benefit? Well, with a car, one gallon of gasoline releases about 18 pounds of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere as stated by Answers.com. Now, 10 pounds, you guys know how, know how heavy that is. So 18 pounds of carbon dioxide from one gallon of gas. Most people spend about a quarter tank of gas circling looking for parking. So, I mean, obviously, carbon dioxide, along with other gases, nitrogen, and all that other stuff into the air, is not really that good. And we have 19,995 students currently attending Fullerton College, which I got off the school website. So I believe that if students were allowed to skate on campus, they would be encouraged to just all together ditch their car, skate that one mile, come to class, put it underneath the desk, be ready to learn, and then go home without having to waste a gallon, quarter of a gallon, whatever it is, and pollute the air and they would be more encouraged to just start skating to and from school. 
So I've told you three main reasons why to allow skateboards on campus. Now I'd like to address the issue of vandalism. Everybody thinks that vandalism or skateboards automatically means vandalism, broken arms and chipped curbs and all that nasty stuff. When really, there really none of that ever happens simply because you guys have seen all those knobs out there on the ledges and handrails, those little silver knobs. They're like one foot apart from each other. Those are skate stoppers and they're literally everywhere. It's ridiculous. Like, why would anyone even want to try to skate on campus? Because if they started grinding on something, they'd hit one of those and literally break themselves. And um, I know there's a cost to skate stopping in school. Most schools already have it done, but the cost to skate stopping in school, they sell, uh, there's a website called skatestoppers.com. They sell 60 piece kits for 180 feet, and it's about $10 a piece. So I know that is kind of pricey, but there's always fundraisers that we can do and petitions. And there's, a way, there's always ways of raising money. We all have money, so. Yeah, I don't think that cost would be really that much of a problem. Um, I'd also like to address the liability issue. Now, everybody thinks that, that you guys have seen it on TV before, cops beating up skaters for skating on private property, or the whole deal with, uh, oh, he's going to break himself on my, on my property and then he's going to sue me. Well, I believe that if we have a liability contract that every student, athletic or not, would sign at the beginning of every semester, stating that if they were to partake in any physical activity, soccer, football, basketball, skating, riding your bike, any physical activity on campus, that if they were to try anything out of their reason, or if they were to push their own limits, if they were to cause any injury to themselves or the campus, it would be completely and entirely their responsibility, and they would have to pay for the cost. So really, there wouldn't be any real harm done if you allow somebody to skate on campus. So because of all these reasons, I think skateboards should be allowed on our college campus simply because they're efficient, they're safe, there's no real damage that can be done, and altogether they're just the easiest form of transportation, I believe. Thank you. So John, what did you think? I thought that uh, you took a point, or you took a subject that, that really matters a lot to you, and you used a lot of points to try to prove your point. I thought you did a good job of that, and your biggest thing was obviously to uh, show that, you know, by skateboarding on campus just to get from point A to point B, you're not going to vandalize the school, and I thought you did a good job of showing that. All right. Um, I thought that you had a good personal statement at the beginning, a very clear statement of what your point was. There's an excellent outline, and you follow that outline throughout the speech. So all the technical stuff uh, when it comes to organization is all very solid. On developing your argument, uh, you, you pick a couple of issues that I think are probably important. Uh, they need There are one or two, though, that need a little bit more development. For instance, uh, the issue about liability. I think you need a context on why skateboards are largely prohibited on college campuses and maybe even in particular on this college campus. Uh, so we don't really know what it is that is uh, the motivation behind this prohibition, except that your assumption seems to be that it's concerned about <laughs> vandalism. And then you've talked about how that could be mitigated to some degree. Uh, you do talk about the liability issue, but uh, I'm not sure that having everybody sign something is uh, an adequate solution to that problem. I know it sounds like it would be uh, appropriate, but you know, I think you need some discussion of what's practical in this situation. And of course, uh, the liability issue is, <laughs> you know, courts interpret uh, who's going to be liable, and if we have a policy allowing skateboarding on campus, even if somebody's uh, saying the responsibility is mine. I, I give you an incident that I ha happened uh, years ago. It's not exactly applicable to everything that you're talking about on the liability issue, but it does address it from a similar perspective. I, we lived in an apartment building that had a subterranean garage. Uh, when you turn the corner underneath, it was a blind spot. I mean, you, you turn the corner into the garage there. We had a guy who lived in that apartment building, came down that you, sh you need to go really slow around that corner. It's a, sh it's a short distance there, blind spot. He would come racing down there 25 miles an hour. And, you know, there are kids living in the building. And my dad, when he was you know, managing the apartment building, went down and yelled at the guy. And the guy looked at him and says, hey, I've got insurance. 
and I thought my dad was going to kill him right then. He says, insurance is not the issue. The dead kid will be the issue, you idiot. And so you need to address what are the arguments that people have that they're worried about. It's not just the liability, but somebody getting injured, uh, problems on the campus. Maybe there aren't likely to be any problems. I think that's a point that you ought to make in your argument, too. All right. Thank you.